Subscribe and press a like. This your boy, Peanut Nola. Back at you guys. Um, be sure to click the bell so, I, so you can be able to get more videos from me. So you, I can spread the knowledge about our Aboriginal people, indigenous to this land, and how they put the notion that we are so-called African-Americans. Hello, folks. I'm just here. This is your boy, Peanut Nola. I'm, like I said, I'm here to talk about some things that we, you know, some of us as um, so-called African-Americans, we are just so proud to be Americans. We are so proud to, to wear the red, white, and blue. Yes, I love my country. I love my country more than you know. I love my country, but history was told backwards. History was told backwards. You know, um, I started this channel to try to make differences in other people's lives, to not let them be paralyzed in the mind to just one no you know just to be closed minded and not think about um you know in in my meaning what I want to say challenging thinking cuz we are in the thinking generation we have more technology we have more i want to say truths out there than we ever could have you know, we, this is really no excuse. You know, we are in the internet environment where we can go on the internet and find things, not just through the library, like, like in the past and not just books that are just written by so-called uh, white men who has kept us from our truth. Um, slavery was worse than you thought. And I, and I tell people all the time, I said, do you think that your oppressor would love you so much that he will tell you, and he loved you that much that he will tell you the truth? That white supremacy love you so much that they will tell you the truth about yourself. Now remember, this is not to knock the so-called Africans that are out there. Yes, they had African Americans that came here on boats, but they were on boats, not ships. Okay, and it was only 8% of people who came here. That is a very small percentage of people. You know, you can listen, you know, there was a... Um, that was a video with Louis Farrakhan and uh, this Native American. And he said, um, if you touch, he said, brother minister, he said, if you touch half of the people that are here in, that, uh, in America, you would be touching. And we talk about so-called African-Americans that you thought that were so-called African-American, that you would be touching Aboriginal people. You got to pull it up, man. This is, you know, and Dane Calloway, oh, man, like I said, all thumbs up to you. You know, keep putting your sword up in the air. Keep putting your staff up in the air, your your spears up, you know what I'm saying? Because in feathers up to you uh, and all the other, you know, Aboriginal people who are on this journey to teach the world that we are not, we are not who you think we are. And we're not here to disrespect Native Americans, or, or Africa people, um, any any other ethnic background, white people. We're not. We're just here to talk about the lies, the things that they were told that they lied about with us. You know, it. You 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 think about Oklahoma. Every time a black person tried to get it together. And them people in Oklahoma was getting it, getting it together. And that was Black Wall Street. And they were getting it together. And um, them Aboriginal people were working hard. Very classy people. 
had a lot of pride about themselves. They could read, they can write. See, they don't tell about these stories. America does not tell you these stories about clean black folks that were educated black folks. That they dropped bombs on in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma to stop the growth of the so-called African-American. And once again, people are going to say, well, why do you keep saying so-called African-American? Because I don't believe we all are African-Americans. I believe that that majority of the people that are here that that has uh, melanin in their skin, that they are Aboriginal indigenous people of this land. Okay? And that's something to be proud of. And like I said in, in my other videos, at one time, all the nations was together. Okay? And I do believe in, in um, you know, I do believe in the scattered across the, you, the, you know, the corners of the earth. I do believe in a lot of the Hebrew Israelites also. Okay? I do believe that we also are the people of the scriptures of the Bible also. Okay? Because, that you know, they had 12 tribes. 12 tribes. And we, yes, we are one of the 12 tribes. Okay? But, um... African people other than the melanin in their skin they have nothing really in common with us. If you go to North Dakota I have traveled to North Dakota and they have Africans who uh, work in the Walmarts up there and um, they put their nose up to so called African Americans in America. Uh, Nigerian people not, not, something like, not all but most are very very disrespectful they call us lazy they they believe that we are a mixed breed so they really don't care about us okay and they don't want to affiliate themselves with us so a lot of you people who are so pan pan african american pan pan american people i mean pan african um, americans that are so strong in the fight the power and you never ask yourself, where are the slaves? You know, they <laughs> I, they can find the Titanic. They can find the, uh, the, the Confederate War. They can tell you about all that history. But where are the slave ships? I'm still waiting. Where are the, somebody got to show me where are the slave ships? Because it does not exist. Okay? You know, some people want to put our people as weak people our people fought to their debt they were warriors and they fought to their debt okay they did not uh, you know that we are empowering so-called white supremacy by making them believe that they they that they created genocide against our nation of people and the reason why it looks like we have see in the cowboy movies when you watch the cowboy movies and you and, uh, and the Indians and the cowboys, you see them the, the so-called Native Americans that look white, um, the white Indians that look mixed with uh, Mexican people, but that is not the, the 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 Aboriginal people that I'm talking about. Okay, if you watch the Washington Redskins helmet, if you rather you watch football or not, take a look at that helmet. I'm talking about that copper Indian. Okay. So we were not eliminated. We were already here. We got enslaved. Yes, we were enslaved, and yes, we were mixed by the eight percent of the of the so-called African, real Africans that came across. We were mixed with them. We were breeded, bred it with them. Okay, and we also was bred it with the white folks. That's why some of us are light-skinned like myself. We were bred it with them by rape. Okay. You got to use common knowledge and common sense, okay? But when you understand that no matter what we bred with, we still are, we still, you know, sci even science will show that we are the most dominant race of people, people of color. Now, when you look at Egyptian people, them, them Egyptian people were African people. They were dark African people. Okay, Kemic Africa, all that was dark. It was called the land of the black face. Okay, that's why the most high Jesus 
who they call Jesus, who they call Jesus, because they didn't have the letter J back then, was able to hide with the with Pharaoh and his people. Okay, they was able, he was able to blend in with them people. Okay? Due to color. But they found they knew that he was not a part of them. Okay. They eventually found that out. Egyptians were the ones who put our people in captivities. Just like Africa. African people enslaved our people. Just like the white man has enslaved our people. And if you look at most African people, not all, but most, are very, very, very disrespectful to people that live in America. Now, you have you heard anybody from Nigeria? Have you ha heard anywhere... Anybody of them say, come home, come to your homeland. That's because they don't want you there. And you're naive. You just want to be a part of something. And it was great to see the Black Panther. It was a beautiful movie. But that still was not the Aboriginal people. Okay? So I'm going to get a lot of people that's not going to like my video. I'm going to get some people that do like it, but I don't care. I'm not on here for likes. I'm here for my people. And I'm here for my people to wake up. Let's think about... Let's think about all the farmland. All the farmland that was given to the white supremacists. Let's think about all the farmland. We had acres and acres of land. We were the ones... We And they forced us to teach them how to learn how to to crop how to how to plant food we 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 done that all for free on our own land on our own land but it's crazy when somebody see a person of color like myself state that he is aboriginal which i am you know chata indian uh have uh, you know if you i just come from a funeral two funerals you know um god rest in peace to my mother i lost my mother three weeks ago and then my mother's sister she buried her husband um a couple of days ago so i was just i, I was just back-to-back -back funerals and I, I got a chance to meet a lot of our indians in new orleans louisiana a lot of our Choctaw indians and tribes i was at the table and i talked to a lot of them a lot of our um you know, a lot of my cousins and a lot of my family members. And they're just like the old folks was telling me some of the 80 year olds that I, that I was sitting at the table. They said, just like they say, son, we were here. Some of us was not even, though, you know, and, and some of them don't even remember about slavery. You know, so there's some things, some some things that just don't make sense. And we got to keep listening to Dan Calloway. We got to keep listening to folks out here that are preaching the notion. So we just to make people think. There's nothing wrong with challenging what you have been taught. There's nothing wrong. Try not to be a closed minded individual. Closed minded people are going to only go into the sinking place. You wonder why people hate you so much, why our race of people are dying every day. You know, and the sad part is we kill each other. We got there's gotta come a time where we can't just keep blaming the white man. We can't just keep blaming other race of people. We got to and this is one of the reasons why I'm trying to allow them to get other individuals to understand that you come from a great you come from this great place. This is your place. Stop killing yourself off. You know, uh, we you doing a job for the white supremacists. We, I mean, every day we murder. And we want to talk about when the white man kills us, but we don't want to talk about when we kill us. We got our our beautiful young women who are out here who just showing a body and not allowing a man to guess what's underneath their skirts because of self and lack of love for they self. Our young men who, who who basically are just like a woman, they they prostitute their bodies also. We cannot save nobody till we save ourselves. 
And this is what I've been trying to do. Get in our, get in our soul connections because our race of people have been raped. We were, you know, we were raped in front of our wives in them days. We were raped in front of our mothers and fathers for to, to bring upon shame upon of us or on us. And all and, and all that is built up to all the way today in this society. You know, remember, press the bell to get more videos and press a like and subscribe to my page. Share my page because all I'm trying to do is bring awareness to who we are. No, like I said, and I said time and time and time, no disrespect to anyone's else racial ethnic background. We're just trying to find out who we are. We're doing more studies on learning because it doesn't make sense though that, that they can tell you that they brought all the millions of people over here and you know the, that, we, that, that we just got beat down and we were brought over here in slavery. It just doesn't mean that. It, it doesn't make no sense. So I'm just trying to make some sense of it. Let's have that conversation. You know what I'm saying? All glory goes to the most high.